I would like to know if you can use cardboard instead of newspaper. I live in a rural area, so it's hard to find newspaper these days. Our soil is a mixture of rock, sand, and dirt, so the first year of prepping is huge. Any advice would be appreciated. I can, or can I use fresh wood chips? And, well, we'll just do the first one first. Cardboard. The challenge with cardboard, because if the ground's not totally flat and you have dips, leaves will grow there because there's air space. What's better than cardboard or paper is if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, they have these rolls of brown paper, about four feet tall, big rolls. They're pretty cheap. And you can roll out over your, your place, put the witches on, and you're good because it's, you know, it's thick enough, one layer is enough, and it's fast. Like loose papers, you're always open, the wind blows in the channel, but that stuff just goes quick. Roll it out, and you're good. So that's, that's the easiest way to do it. Okay. What does the cardboard do? Cardboard, because it's rigid, it's thick. If your ground is not totally flat and you have dips and there's weeds, there's airspace. And they'll stay alive. Oh. See, the advantage of paper when it gets wet, it lays tight to the ground and it will suffocate, take out all the air and, and suffocate the plants so they oh, die. Okay. Yeah. Or if you have air space, cardboard's rigid, you've got a dip, air's still there, and that weed will stay alive. It won't die. He's, that's the first time he's heard about cardboard in his face. He knows nothing about what <laughs> this is. So when you have, like, say, grass, what you do is you cut it down as low as you can, cover it with like newspaper, paper, cardboard, something like that, and that will kill off, uh, it'll stop like any of the airflow and block any of the sun from the grass so it decomposes, it, it goes back into the dirt. Compost. Then you put the wood chips on top of that, and so nothing's growing up, everything down there is dying off, turning into compost, nothing, weed seeds and stuff floating around, laying on top of the wood chips, they can't get down to the dirt, so, you should never really have to weed, and if you do, great, because your soil's doing so good, and they pull out pretty easy, like you saw today. The whole basic premise of back to Eden Garden. Oh. So, kill off everything that was there, cover it with um, cardboard or newspaper, or the painter's rolls that he's talking about. Um, drop in any like fish emulsion or any soil amendments, compost, manure, anything like that you want to. Cover that with four to six inches of wood chips. Let it be. Do that in the fall. Come springtime, you are so golden to, to plant. In the wood chips. In, well, no, because you still pull back the wood chips, but yeah. everything's died off. It's had time oh, all I winter see, with see, the rain and the snow and everything to wash all the decomposing everything in compost tea into your ground. So when you go to plant in the soil, your soil's healthier than it was before you did this. And you see, that, see, that's the beauty of the cover, see, is that your soil is in a constant state of upgrade. It's always getting better. Or when it's exposed and you're mining it with plants, it's always being depleted. It's getting, yeah. you got a negative going on with this. It's just all just plus. Layering. Yeah. yeah, and again, it's all breaking down putting more back in the plants can take out and so every year ah, compounding it it's just it's awesome and then anytime you want to add anything to it on top just put it on, on top, top, it's on, layer. top it's layer. on top and it'll all wash through breaks down see everything turns back to dirt everything breaks down to dirt yeah eventually. I saw the different levels yeah it was awesome yeah. Mm -hmm. okay yeah he just knows that you're and you, a guy and that you ate cool the asparagus trees. And you, and you ate the asparagus, and you oh. saw the effect of what that stuff has done to my soil. It's powerful. And asparagus shoots down, what, like 18 feet? The roots? The, roots, the asparagus will send roots down 14 feet in the earth. 14 feet. Whoa. That's why it has that mineral smell when that... When you, that pee, when you pee, you can it. smell it because of the high mineral content. No other vegetable has a mineral content that the asparagus does. It's the most mineral rich way down. produce there is. That's why it comes up first... First in April. The spring, yeah. See, after you went through a winter with no greens, nothing was growing. And so you're hungry for greens, so you're planting a garden. I want greens. And asparagus says, Hi, I'll hold you over. I tell you, nature's perfect, man. Yeah. It doesn't miss anything. Everything's right on time. <laughs> Can I use fresh wood chips the first year? Use for what? Um, I think I plant in fresh wood chips the first year. As long as you access the soil, yeah. Roots have to be in soil. That's where the roots have to be. So it, it, if the roots are in the soil, it doesn't matter what state the stuff on top is. Eventually, though, 
you're planning after years and years of wood chips and layering wood chips over you're technically planting in um, composted wood chips yeah well see those those weeds you're eating out there that's all growing on top of the wood chips yeah yeah so that's, you're right it breaks down it turns back to soil so okay why does Paul not have his own YouTube channel because if I was connected to the computer, I would have no life. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being real. I mean, with all the with all the letters and phone calls I get without having it, if I had if people had access to me, I couldn't do a garden. That's all I'd be doing. So I'm thankful that I can, you know. You don't get online and. I have no computer. I have no cell phone. I have no access to him. I'm totally a recluse. I go nowhere. I know no one. Oh, handwritten letters. Yeah. So that's why you're asking the questions. Oh yeah. Because you're people's? answering them for your. Yeah, because I I have no computer. I, 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 really. I, I came out here one day because I saw half, maybe a quarter of the video, the the movie that they made about him in his garden, and I was like, I know where Squim's at, and I figured out who he was and where he was, and I called him up and I was like, can I come see you and see how wonderful this is, and he was like. Yeah, and I came out here and I just happened to have my little flip camera with me. I was like, do you mind if I record the things you're saying? Because it sounds awesome and I'm going to forget all this. Mm -hmm. And then I got home and I was like, more people need to know. I mean, there's more than just this video that didn't tell us anything compared to what I just learned. And so I was like, upload to YouTube <laughs> three different videos and people were like, oh! There's new, there's stuff, there's stuff. And just bombarded me with questions. And I'm like, come on, people, I don't know. Like, can you go back you out there and ask him this? And I'm like, uh, I can try. I'm going to call him up. And I'm like, can I come back out and ask you some questions? And you're like, come on out. And that was back in the day when I could just, you, I mean, well, I could come out. As in Port Orchard, said far. But where people would come all hours of the day and night and show up and no schedule. There was no, like, uh, June to October Sundays after 2.30. It was, you know, he'd be eating or something and somebody'd show up and like, hey, can I see your... Yeah, I've come in my place and there's it was, it was a woman with her daughter and her granddaughter who came here from Montana. This is my yard. You know, I don't know how many, But it happens all the time. Someone's just here, I was up in my, we out, my son was mowing the grasses. This guy just shows up from Colorado just drive in here, you know, so it's just... <laughs> but it used to be a lot worse like he would start mowing his grass in the morning and nine o'clock at night and he still hadn't finished well, that's what I, that's when I that's when I that's when I I said I gotta do this you know once a week on Sundays period because I I, have, I can have no life so I'm saying if I had a computer man I, I would I couldn't have a garden you, you couldn't have yeah, yeah so I, I so I'm, I'm, I'm thankful God has arranged it that way because otherwise you know I couldn't survive <laughs> Now I know he'd let me come out here whenever I want. Yeah, he's always there. Wayne's talked about your garden to me years. for years. Easy. Yeah, years. Well, <laughs> you know, each other coming up like you know, four and, years and Wayne, and you know, Wayne's really, you know, made a, the, a tremendous, you know, input to getting this out there. I mean, people you know, from all over the world are getting, you know, and that's, you know, my, I want people to get it. This is really how we can survive. When everything shuts down, we're good. I don't need the bank. I don't need my money. I don't need the store. I have everything here. So it's just pretty, you know, basic. When those tours come through, and he was saying 60, 100 people, 200 sometimes, and they come through and everybody's eating an apple and everybody's eating a carrot and everybody's eating some kale, and they leave and you can't even tell they were here. It's amazing. There's what? Just, there's so there's much. There's so much. There's, and then the no next impact. week, the same thing, and the next week, the same thing, and... Um, Carol's a midwife and all of her clients come through and get food. get food and stuff and the neighbors and you don't even know. It's the dogs just tell. run out there and eat. It's amazing how much it works, how much yeah. happens. And, 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 and I think the spirit realm is the reality mm -hmm. and God says it's in giving you receive. Not in taking, not in charging, but in giving. giving. Because I give it all away. It's, yeah. I'm challenged with abundance. My challenge is I have too much. I love it. <laughs> it's so fun. That is awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs>